Hi. Welcome. I am gonna go through some keto pantry items today. I went through my pantry. I've got all of these goodies here for you today, and I'm gonna explain what all I have. So I'm gonna show you my pantry, and and you guys can ask questions, things that we do every day. So. Um, let me introduce myself. My name is Sheila Braun. We live in Salt Lake City, Utah. We are transplants here. I'm originally a Texan um, that moved to California as a child. So most of my adult life I've lived in California, um, mainly Orange County in the last um, 15 years. Um, my husband and I, Doug, have a daughter, Cami, who lives with autism. We also have five other children. Um, but Cami lives here with us with autism. She's 24. So um, we looked into a keto lifestyle last July and it made so much sense. So um, what we did is we just started. We started, but we started with, um, we didn't know anything about the diet at the time. Hello everybody as you're coming on. I'm just, say hi, I would certainly appreciate it. Um, we didn't know anything about keto at the time, but I heard about these bioidentical therapeutic ketones. And it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We were at a point in our lives where we were run down, we were tired, we were fat, we were unhappy about it. And so we needed a change. So I um, started with, the, we started with um, Prove It's Ketones. And within days we thought, keto, this makes so much sense. So I went and bought a keto book and um, and started reading it from cover to cover to see what I could find out about ketones and ketosis. So that's when we decided about day three, hubby came in and threw up his shirt and said, oh my gosh, I have abs again. And um, so that's when we started our journey. We started reading labels. We started getting excited about keto. And the more we learned about it, the more we thought this would be something so great for our daughter Cambria with autism. So um, what I'm gonna do today, I just thought I would give you a little hi and give you a little background on me if you guys have been following me. I've got so many new followers and new people that are joining me and I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to share this journey with you. Everybody that's coming on, please say hi, I would so appreciate it. Um, and then I'm a dog mom too, as you can tell. And being a dog mom, our dogs have been, we're eating a ketogenic raw diet and, and raw and cooked um, before I knew what keto was. So um, if you have any questions about that, hi, hi from Texas, Luz, how are you? Um, so if you have any questions about that, I love to share that, y'all. It's the, we, we became keto with um, our Bernese Mountain Dog um, for my dogs. I didn't even know it was keto at the time for cancer. So I learned that the, 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 the kibble and all of that was um, contributing um, towards cancer with the sugar and all of that. I never, I never put it together for us as, as humans. So we, um, so we started um, him, he was diagnosed with cancer um, and he lived another three years, 11 years, three months. For Bernice, that is about three years longer than their life, average lifespan. So that makes sense to me. So I digress. So, but if you would, if any of you would love to hear about um, a keto lifestyle for, for our dogs too, I would love sharing that with you. But today, I, I have a ton of stuff here for you guys. I have got stuff. I emptied my pantries. I didn't do any refrigerator stuff today, but some of my customers have been asking um, for um, what do I use? What do I start with? And and you know, it's all up to you um, for keto baking, but I'm gonna go over some of the basic staples that you'll want to get. And then as you go on in time, and you know, if you place Amazon orders or if you place orders at vitacost.com, or um, there's another one, a new one that I like, um, nutrition.com, uh, or if you're going to Sprouts or Whole Foods, or um, even Walmart has tons of keto stuff these days. So if you're on a budget, those are, those are great places to look. Um, so I kind of eased into it as from the basic staples and then added to it as I found new recipes that I wanted to, um, to incorporate into our life. And I love playing around with recipes. Like yesterday I, I made a new roll recipe. Wasn't my favorite. So it's not one I'm going to share with you guys. So I test the recipes, 
sometimes two and three and four times before I even bring them to you. Um, and I do have a Pinterest page that you guys can follow. Hi, Tracy. Hi, everybody coming on. Thank you for saying hi. I so appreciate it. Oh, and so for y'all just coming on. So for sharing, sharing helps me, guys. Helps me to get the word of keto out there to people. Helps me to broaden my audience and to share this life-changing journey that we're taking and if you want to take in the information great if you don't that's okay too but it's there for you thank everybody that's joining me so if you share this I'm gonna give away I'm gonna do a drawing for any everybody that shares um, you're gonna get this new keto cup shaker cup it's got the little shaker ball in it it is from prove it my company and I'm gonna include in that a keto cream which is our I'm backwards our fat burning coffee uh, creamer, which is delicious and yummy, and I drink it every day. And if you want to know more about that, I can tell you. Uh, but this is our sweet cream, and this is my very favorite. And and I'm gonna include um, our Keto Max, 40 times more bioavailable ketones than anything out there on the market. So I'm gonna give these away to the, to someone that shares today. So make sure you share. Make sure you comment that you shared so that I don't miss you because sometimes in the shares um, I can see them but if you have your don't have your settings to public I can't see them if we're not friends already hi thank you for joining me guys okay so make sure you comment shared or I may not be able to see your share okay and I appreciate shares so much to help grow my business okay let's go and I'm gonna just come around here I'm gonna grab my um, iPad in case there's any questions that I can't see and please, please, please share. I would so appreciate it. Questions are great. I would love, love any questions to be able to answer this. And again, my husband and I live this life. Our daughter with autism lives this life. We are grain-free, sugar-free, gluten-free. Uh, we do do dairy and there's some corn that we can handle, but we do that on a limited basis. And when we do carb up, um, th that usually is maybe a little corn or it may be a sweet potato or some french fries which is not something we do all the time but we do live this life we are not the people that talk about it we live it so um, and we have been keto since July of 2017 and it's it's a passion of mine to share this so thank you for joining me I'm just gonna um, get on my page here Let's see you get me on my page. And hopefully the dogs are not gonna do their little, their little uh, attitude that they gave me last time. What an expensive, great question, Luz. What an expensive peanut butter. And I didn't take that out, but I'm going to. Trader Joe's has great peanut butter and Costco has my very, I'm gonna give you, it's open. This is Kirkland's organic peanut butter. It is my very, actually, if I had, there were any, and I, no matter what price, this is what I would buy, okay? There's nothing in it but peanuts. It's delicious, and I use it for everything. Hi, Karen, come on, as you come on, say hi, you guys, please. Um, this was out because um, we have had a sick puppy that um, has been needing pills, and peanut butter is how I get it down, but she's done now, and she's good. Okay, so I'm gonna go over some of the just basics and y'all please thank you for the love you guys I really appreciate it. So if you have any questions, please don't forget to, to ask them while I'm here I'm gonna go over some basic um, Baking items and then we can get into some of the fun stuff So the first thing you're gonna want is swerve Okay, this is this is granular and this is confectioners so in regular baking, you use confectioners for like frostings and, and that kind of thing. Where I use confectioners is in anything that I'm not going to cook, okay? So if it's not gonna go under heat, I will use confectioners. So if I'm doing fat bombs, if I'm doing a frosting, if I'm doing um, something that I, because granular, this is the granular, can be a bit gritty, okay? And it doesn't necessarily melt like sugar, so, um, so depending on how long you're cooking it and everything, that's when I that's when I decide which one I'm going to use. Um, Swerve is one of my very favorites. Lancanto was really good as well. 
Um, but these are my go-tos. You can, you can now find these at Sprouts, from what I understand. Some Whole Foods. Um, I heard that Walmart had them. Yeah, haven't been to Walmart in a while. So um, I need to check next time. They run about $67 a bag. I get them at Vitacost for the very best price. And if I have a 15 or 20% coupon, that's where I get them. So, Swerve. Now, Swerve just came out, and I don't know where it is, with a new brown sugar. And it, I haven't opened this one yet. And this one I got at Nutrition. And it's soft. It feels like real brown sugar, you guys. I have another one from Lancanto that is like granular brown sugar. So if I'm gonna make peanut butter cookies, I'm gonna use this. Um, I'm gonna use this in my chocolate chip cookies. But this is new, and I can't wait to get, can't wait to try it now that we um, finally have one. Um, we use one called Richards. That's the only peanuts. Oh, good. Good to know. Okay, flaxseed meal. If you are one of those people that has been on grain, you know, grain breads most of your life, or you really, really love the grains, you know, and you know, when it's, you can see the grain, but it, we can't eat those anymore. Um, did you, did you, Reggie? Oh, good. Um, Gina. <laughs> um, flaxseed meal. So there are two. This is a darker one, and this is an organic, um, ground flaxseed. I'll try to open this for you so you can see it. And this is Red Hill. And Red Hill's had some bad rap lately with um, that they had some issues, but I haven't had any problems with them. But um, So this is um, whole ground. And the, the, um, the one that's not whole is a little lighter in color. So this is, this is, looks like cardboard ground up. You can't see it, but it looks like cardboard ground up. But my husband, one of my rolls that I make, this is his very favorite. And it has this in it, so it really has that grainy feel to it, and it feels like you're eating a real roll, uh, a grain roll, you know what I mean? Hi, everybody coming on. Hi, Corey. Corey just asked me. We were talking, chatting, and I work one-on-one -on -one with my customers all the time, and I that's what I do. I love working with you guys. I love answering your questions and helping you in this journey. Um, and she said, can you just go over some of the staples that you use and that, so Corey, here it is. So, Biggie, the biggest one of them all. You are going to want almond flour for almost everything you do keto, okay? This is Kirkland, this is Ke uh, Costco. I believe um, Sam's Club has it as well, but you can get it at any store. It just costs an arm and a leg. So this one's about $11, I believe. And this is um, three pounds, which is a screaming deal because you can pay seven dollars a pound for almond flour um, at you know at Smith at one of your grocery stores. So this is, um, I think even um, Trader Joe's is carrying it now. So this is this is the big heavy duty, and I always have an extra bag because I don't ever want to run out ever ever. The other one is coconut flour, and for those of you that aren't um, me too. Um, some of you that aren't, um, that are allergic to almonds or have an aversion to almonds, coconut flour, um, there's a ton of, uh, there's a conversion in my Pinterest page. If you don't like almond flour or you don't have it, um, coconut flour, coconut flour you want to use less of and it's, it, it's less, it's more dense. So the conversion is different, but um, you can taste the coconut in it. So if you're not a coconut fan, you may not want to use the coconut flour. Most of my um, pancakes and waffles include um, coconut flour. So they usually have a coconutty taste. Here's an oat fiber. And the cool thing about the oat fiber, and this is, um, this is Trim Healthy Mama. She has tons of recipes on Pinterest. And this is, she has a couple of things that I have here, I, blending mixes and stuff. I think I have another one somewhere. Um, and so when you want oat bran, again, if you wanted that grainy roll, and our rolls are usually fat head rolls made from mozzarella and cream cheese, it's awful, but somebody's gotta do it, and that is the main, those are the two mainstays for any fat head dough. And if you want a little grainy, you know, you can feel that grainy. This is 26 grams of carbs, okay? 25 grams, no, 26 grams of fiber. So it it zeroes it out, okay? So anytime 
and I don't know if you guys can see this, that may be wrong. If you read the back of a label and it says 26 carbs and then it says um, dietary fiber or soluble fiber, you can subtract those out for your net carbs, okay? So um, if you freak out and go, 26 carbs, I can't do that, it zeroes it out, okay? So chia seeds, I got these at Costco, I believe. There's enough for a freaking army, you know? I will probably never use all of these chia seeds. But these are great, again, for those rolls or if you're gonna need air breads that need fiber. Um, and again, this has um, 12 grams of carbs per serving and 11 grams of dietary fiber. So you're netting that out to one gram, so that's awesome, okay? So there's another one. Camp Hearts is another one that some of the they call for in baking. Um, I haven't used this one yet, so it was one of those things that I just added to from my list of things and I just kept collecting different um, different baking items so that when I was ready to bake them, I had them. Totally optional, you know, th that's not a necessary item. Again, same thing with nutritional yeast. Um, nutritional yeast is a vegetarian version of yeast and um, it won't, it, as far as carbs, it's got one net carb, okay? So the thing is with nutritional yeast as opposed to a regular yeast, a regular yeast needs sugar in order to grow, right? So if you've ever made a bread or a yeast dough, you'll see that you need the sugar, they'll have you add the sugar to your yeast. And that's what's gonna make it like, puff up, right? So um, that is, this will um, help with that. I did, um, some of my customers, I posted in, in one of our groups, a pizza dough recipe where it rises with regular yeast with the sugar, but the sugar burn, it, it, it competes with the yeast and it makes it zero out. So that's something I wanna make y'all. And, and once I do, I will do a live for you guys uh, on that pizza dough because it looks delicious. It looks like a, and it's, you know, that you just went, picked up a New York pizza um, of the crust. Um, another one for breads is psyllium husk. Again, another fiber, and fiber is really important um, when you're doing keto, especially if you're not getting enough of your green vegetables. And because vegetables can have carbs, they do have carbs in them. But when you do the fi the fiber and everything and zero them out, um, it's it's minimal. And I always tell my customers, um, my students that you want your vegetables. So stay away from the root vegetables, which would be a sweet potato, a potato, a carrot. Use those limited or only on carb up days and use those in the right way. Um, and stick with kale and broccoli and cauliflower and um, grief, green leafy vegetables, right? We still want those. Bell peppers, tomatoes, we still want those, okay? So don't forget your veggies. Um, another one that I use a lot of, oh, so here's the other baking blend, and this is just a blend, and this is a blend of, um, it's for biscuits and muffins, it's got the golden flax in it, it's got, so it's already mixed together for you, so if you're, just one or two of you, or if it's just you, this is a really good, um, economical way to do it, to kind of try some of those, um, try some of those recipes that you don't want to go buy everything, okay? Whey protein I use a lot, and when you're gonna use whey protein is like if I'm gonna make fried zucchini, or if I'm going to make, um, uh, there are some breads that just call for the whey protein. If you have silly, you know, if you have issues with dairy, then, then you don't wanna do the whey. Um, thank you, Janet, sorry, I gotta read that. Um, thank you for sharing, honey. Make sure you guys share, and I'll go over that again. Um, but the whey protein is used as a flour, okay? So if you're breading something um, that you, you don't want to use traditional flour with, you're going to use um, whey protein. And this is just another version of it. Um, Amazon, I believe, Amazon. I may have picked this one up at Sprouts. So if y'all share, I'm giving away a prize. A good prize. I'll show it to you. Isn't this the cutest cup? We have these at, at when I went to my last Keto Academy and it's 36 ounces of water and that I need two of these a day, so it's perfect. Thank you all for joining me. Okay, 
So if you share, I'm gonna do a drawing. This is a this is a little cute shaker cup. It's a Prove It cup. I'm trying to see where my my logo is. And then I'm also gonna give you a keto cream for your fat burning coffee and a package of ketones. Okay. This is our raspberry lemonade. I'll give you whatever flavor you want. Um, and this is our max product, which I highly recommend. Okay, back to baking. Baking soda. It's just you know common sense where you're gonna use a lot of baking soda and baking powder in your recipes. So get a good one, get an aluminum free. This is from Trader Joe's, you can pick them up at Sprouts. I'll make sure it's aluminum free. And then this is um, just a baking soda from Red Hill. Red Hill's a, a, a good company to, um, to buy from. The other, um, uh, the other really big ingredient that I don't have here is pink Himalayan sea salt or any of the Hawaiian sea salts, you want color in your life. So um, I buy sea salt from all over the place now. Salt is not the enemy, y'all. So throw away the table salt. Do not use table salt ever, 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 ever. I carry a, a, a little bottle of um, Himalayan pink sea salt in my purse at all times. It could be used as a weapon if you need to, but uh, <laughs> I use it all the time. Okay, back to baking. Pure egg white protein, do recipes call for this. I got this at Trader Joe's. Another thing that I don't have here um, that I got at Trader Joe's was um, ghee. And ghee you can use in replacement for, uh, to bake or to, um, to use for, if you're gonna fry, saute or fry, um, it, it replaces butter. So we're not getting into the refrigerator or, or freezer items today. Just clean my pantry um, to let you guys see what I got. Circuit Gold has been my favorite uh, brown sugar substitute. I know the erythritol brand, blend, no, actually this is monk fruit. Uh, Circuit Sucrin is uh, monk fruit and it is delicious. No, I lied. Lancanto is monk, monk fruit and this is urethritol blend. Um, with some stevia and this has been my favorite and now I'll try this for and see but it's not you don't need much but it isn't cheap so that's why I'm saying if you got to budget it and where you're gonna start um, you know start smart and and then build upon your pantry this is something that's, that you can use in baking this is my protein powder this I look at this big monster I mean it's it's bigger than my head. This I got at Costco for 14 something. No, no, for I'm sorry, $44 and something. Um, and if you get them on Amazon, they're about this big and they're that price. So we use this in our keto cream coffee every morning. I don't use it on days that I'm intermittent fasting, and that's a whole nother subject. Happy to answer that question if you have if you want information on that. Um, but this is our protein, it's collagen, it helps with your hair, skin, and nails, it helps, it helps with everything. There is four types of collagen in our keto cream, however, this keeps us full because we don't, we find that we don't get enough protein on a daily basis, especially my husband. So this has 22 grams of protein for two scoops, 11 for one scoop, so that's what I'll add and that helps satiate me and helps me, and most days I don't eat breakfast. So. This is my breakfast on those non-intermittent fasting days. Let's go to some mixes. So this is one that I picked up at Costco. It's pretty good. It's paleo, so it's not completely, um, it's not completely keto, um, but it works in a pinch. And if you um, can handle 11 grams of carbs that, for that period or that day, then it's a good one. It's got a little bit of a spice to it that's that I'm not real fan of, but it's a really good blend and a mix if you're into just some quick pancakes or so forth. Um, it does have 16 grams of carbs, and it's got five grams of dietary fiber, so that nets out to 11 carbs per serving. So it's one of those that if you're just gonna be, you know, pick one up at Costco or whatever, Cami loves them, and I'll make, um, I'll make, you know, a, a, like six extra days of it and just put them in the freezer and Cami always has pancakes. Um, yes, we do um, add, hi Kathy, 
we do add the extra protein because we don't find that we get enough protein all day. So, um, especially hubby. So he, he does 22 grams of protein every day, which is two scoops. A woman in keto is usually around 70 grams of protein. Okay, that's what we want. It is, it is um, a goal, okay, to hit your protein. Uh, fat is not a goal, it's just there to keep you satiated. And if you understand a keto life, 70 to 75% of your, of your calories should come from a healthy fats, and then 20 to 25% of them should come from, from protein, and then 5% should come from carbs. One of the beautiful things and why I call myself keto-ish is because we don't count carbs, we don't count macros, we just kind of keep an eye on them, we read, we read, read labels, and, and, and we know how we feel. So um, we don't weigh ourselves, we just, we are in ketosis within 59 minutes with our ketones, we drink two ketones a day, and then we just, we watch what we eat. But we live this life. We don't talk about this life, we live this life. Okay, so one of my new finds that I love so much is the Swerve Cake Mixes. Now, this is vanilla, I haven't tried it yet, but I've been collecting them. Um, and let's see, what are my, three net carbs. You don't know that they're sugar-free. Cami is so excited when these come. Netrition had them for like seven something, I know, seven something for a cake mix, I know that sounds like a lot, but when the, the when you get into the swerves and the, and the really good um, sugar substitutes, urethritol, which is a natural sugar, but um, that doesn't raise your, elevate your blood sugar, they get a little pricey. So, um, and then you're adding the almond flour and all of that. So these are really good if you want a quick something. Um, Cami, this is chocolate, which I buy, I want to buy by the case. They are so good. You would never know they're sugar-free, gluten-free. You know, um, so you're gonna add eggs, oil, and vanilla to this one, and water. And the oil I use, I use coconut oil. You can use, if you wanted to, you could use, um, or I've used butter. You could use ghee, you could use, um, thank you so much for sharing, Kelsey. Um, so, I like, if, you, if you're not a coconut fan, don't use the coconut, you know, because you will taste the coconut oil. Um, you could use olive oil if you wanted to. Do not use canola oil. Do not use vegetable oil. That's a whole nother um, life. But, so that's what you could do to this to, um, uh, to blend this. So the first, the second time I made these, I made a little hole in them. I made, I put peanut butter in the middle, which is just a natural peanut butter. Hi, Susan! Um, natural peanut butter in, just put a little hole in it, put the natural peanut butter in, and baked them like that. So, when they came out, the peanut butter was just ooey gooey inside. Then I made a peanut butter cream cheese frosting for them. Ah, so good. Yes, avocado, yes. An avocado oil would be really good too, thank you. But not a lot of people have that. That's a whole other staple that I didn't bring out. So I just bought some new truffle oils today at, um, I went to Home Goods, and if you sneak around, you can find some good oils and some truffle oils, and you never know what you're gonna find there. Um, chocolate chip cookies. And this one is just milk, vanilla, and butter. And in the milk, milk is not keto. Um, Choose a grass-fed uh, organic if you can, if you can swing it. Otherwise, use heavy whipping cream if you want to use heavy whipping cream and, and, and water it down a little bit. So use like um, this calls for three tablespoons. Um, so I would use um, I would use a full thing of heavy whipping cream. But if you do like two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and a, and a, te a tablespoon of water, then that will you know make it more milky like because you know heavy whipping cream is heavy. And then the pancakes. Now these again, these are 11 net carbs. So they're as much as this paleo one that we talked about. However, I love the taste of these. I can eat these every single day. Cami loves them. Um, and these call for the milk. So I use heavy whipping cream. And they call for oil. So I usually use, um, you, could use you could use avocado oil. You could use coconut oil. You could use, you could use olive oil if you wanted to. 
I use butter, okay? So these you can make up waffles uh, or pancakes. And they don't, you know, this one makes says 20 pancakes, okay? And it's $8.99 on Amazon or it's like $7.50 ish on nettrition.com. Okay, let's see. So I got all the mixes in. Here's another baking item that I love. And this is Lily's chocolate chips. Lily's chocolate chips you can pick up at Whole Foods. You can get the, don't even try to get them at a regular supermarket yet. I don't know why no one, they haven't jumped aboard yet, but they are not that smart yet. So Lily's, when it's this time of weather, you can get them um, really reasonably, like six, five, six dollars a bag at vitacost.com. Vitacost.com is free shipping over 49, uh, at $49. So if you put a couple bags of Swerve in there and put some Lily's chocolate chips, and these are really tiny. So when I'm making chocolate chip cookies, I would use a Lily's bar. And the same thing, you can get these at Sprouts, you can get them at Whole Foods. Um, and this is just, because this does have sugar in it, it's not uh, an unsweetened bar. Um, this has stevia, it's sweetened with stevia. So um, I will chop this up for, if I want a really gooey chocolate chip cookies, um, I will use this. And sometimes I'll use them in my brownies, um, but either one of these. And they're really tasty, they're really good. And I here's some more Lily's bars. Um, again, Vitacost has them at the best price. You can get them sometimes like two for $7 or something at um, Whole Foods. Um, my favorite, so here's a Lily's dark chocolate with crispy rice. I think there's like five net grams. Um, this one's 10 net carbs, and this is one. This is one of our favorites. But you know what? If I need something sweet and chocolatey, and I just want to go get it, this one is really good, and it's it's um, it's 40% milk, so it's not dark dark. But so here's some in Lily, so you guys can get those at um, Whole Foods, and. Uh, you can get them at Amazon, but they're just too pricey as far as I'm concerned. Hi, Beth. You guys, please share, share, share. I'm doing a drawing for everybody that shares. So if you um, put that you shared and share for me, I'd so appreciate it. Okay, another one that is really good. This is an unsweetened um, chocolate from, and this is uh, two net gram carbs. So if you just, if you're somebody that can just eat dark chocolate right out of the package, this is a good one to go with. Uh, or if you're baking for my brownies or so forth, this is what I'm gonna use. Thank you for sharing, y'all. Um, and this, or sometimes just, I just dip it in some peanut butter and good snack. However, y'all, I'm addicted. Thank you for sharing, Beth. Okay, now I'm telling you all this secrets and they can't keep this stuff in stock. These guys are in California. Um, they're, uh, they're in orange, I believe. Shock Zero. The best chocolate on the earth that's keto. I'm telling you, it is amazing. So this is um, this is dark chocolate with peanuts. I got this for Doug because he likes peanuts. He doesn't isn't really a fan of almonds, although he'll have almond flour. He told me was when we first got married. He told me he was allergic. He's not allergic. He just didn't want them. Thank you, Susan. Hi, Rose. Okay, this one though, it's they hardly ever have this in stock. Well, there's two that they hardly can keep in stock: uh, the peanuts and the coconuts. The milk chocolate with coconut, it'll give you goosebumps, y'all. I mean, it will. It is amazing. And it's 150, uh, let's see, this thing's hard to read. 150 calories, which 120 for the dark. Um, where's the net carbs? Two net carbs per serving. It's better than the, the lilies, let me tell you. So, you can get the almonds on, um, on Amazon. Other ways you go to chalkzero.com and join their, um, yes, you can get it at Amazon, but they're limited on their flavors. 
Um, so what I would do is join their, uh, give them your email, because what are they gonna do with it? So give them your email and you will be updated when they restock and they're also uh, coming back now that it's getting cooler, coming back with the little, little, um, the little ones that you can like take with you. Cause these are, um, these are just my size, but they have smaller ones. I, I think they're called bark or something. So they're coming, uh, they should be more available um, because of the, uh, the weather. But if you're in California, oh, I, I'm telling y'all, they should start paying me. Caramel syrup, they have caramel syrup. And they have, ma they have maple syrup, but I'm gonna show you my favorite maple syrup. And then they have, they have chocolate and caramel syrup. I haven't tried them yet, but I have them. And they're sugar-free, and I can't wait to try them. <laughs> I like, keep it to myself. Um, okay, while we're on some sweet stuff, Let's do the, some of this. Stuff. Oh, while I'm on syrup, Lancanto. Again, net zero, uh, uh, net, net nutrition. Um, Lancanto.com will do 50% off, and I stock up when they do 50% off. Field trip, no kidding. Would you go stock up for me and buy everything they have and send it to me? Um, this is, Cami loves this. You don't, know, you don't need much, and you don't know that it's not, that it's sugar free. Seriously, it's that good. Um, like I said, Lancanto will do a 40-50% sale, lancanto.com, L-A-K-A-N-T-O, and um, when they have a sale, I stock up, right, this one doesn't, Susan, I don't like any of those others, and they're a fortune, they're a fortune, because we were at the lake, and, and I can't be one of pancakes, and I didn't bring any of, this, of the Lancanto, and we went and bought, well, one, I read label. So like at the lake, there's, there's a Walmart and there's like a Safeway. And so I went, Walmart was just junk. I mean, it was full of sucralose and stuff that's gonna make you sit on the toilet half a day. And then the other was, um, was expensive and it was still crappy ingredients. So um, this one tastes like the real deal. I put it in a glass, uh, a measuring cup put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds and you don't need much just want a little bit it's just your boys will love it and it, it is on the higher end so don't let them waste it but um, it's worth it but you know that's that's sugar-free hopefully at some point in time if we all buy them enough exactly exactly Susan this one is good you know I wouldn't I wouldn't be here talking about it if it wasn't and with autism and Cammie gets pancakes every once in a while and I freeze them for her or waffles. Um, I prefer her to eat eggs in the morning. Um, she doesn't get cereal, she doesn't get milk anymore. Um, so we keep her on, so, I mean, we, she's on keto. No cookies. And why, why are they not showing up that way? Okay, no cookies. This one's my favorite is the, um, the double chocolate. They do have a chocolate chip, they have a lemon, they have a, a cinnamon, and they have another new one, a peanut butter that's really good. However, they just they just came out with a new version. These are one, these are some that I bought at 50% off and they're still in there. And I'll let Cammy have these every once in a while. Um, they are four grams of net carbs, 18 grams of protein, 18 grams of protein and 12 grams of fiber. So these are great if you're just like for me, if I'm gonna run, get my hair done, or what, which I need to do, but I missed it when I was at Keto Academy. Um, throw it in my purse, and it, it, it can be lunch, and it can be a little, it's also really good if you just throw it in the, in the microwave, take it out of the paper, because this will burn, trust me. <laughs> I found out that the hard way, smoking in the kitchen. Hi, Karen. Um, if you, um, if you warm this up, Doug and I will split one on a night that we just need something. something. So these are really good. And I'll let Cammy have these. Um, they're, they are 400, they're 395 calories. So this, you know, this isn't something you're gonna eat every day, but this it has plenty of protein. So it's one of those things I look at as if I'm going to go, um, you know, be away from the house and I don't want, you know, a beef stick or cheese in my purse then that's what I'll go to. Another really great thing is the F-bomb. 
and they have different flavors. This is macadamia nut butter. They have a chocolate, they have almond, they have, um, I think they have a peanut butter. Um, the downside to these, I brought this to Keto Academy when I went as a snack. And they're, if you don't just like down it and you just want to eat a little bit at a time, what do you do with it? It just makes a mess. So, but they're delicious. So those are good ones. Um, Quest Bars. And one of my new customers knows the people at Quest and we, she has requested that we get a special code to buy some Quest Bars. So Quest, this one I got at Target. You can get them Target, Walmart. I didn't know, actually I bought it by the case in at um, Netrition. It was such a good price. You can also set it on Amazon. They'll give it just like five or 10% off if you do Amazon every month it comes. I don't know if anybody does that. I do. I do do that. Um, but this is the chocolate brownie. 20 grams of protein. I think it's it's four net carbs, one gram of sugar, and 12 grams of fiber. This y'all is my favorite Quest bar of all time. Yes, this one is good. And they're peanut butter cookies. You can get them at Target. You can get them at Walmart. They are about 250 a piece. Um, but definitely um, something like today I went shopping I put one in my purse that was lunch is the best lunch no but you know what in the big scheme of things it was you know and it's really really good it doesn't have a horrible aftertaste it is yummy um, good ingredients there is soluble corn fiber in there for anybody that has issues with that however we don't so um, that's part of the fiber in there, which you find a lot. Um, and their peanut butter cookies are really good. Um, and I'll let Cammie have those and get those too. At, you can get those too at Walmart, Target, uh, Amazon, Nutrition. Chomps, y'all, chomps, if you haven't had a chomp. I like the jalapeno chomps too. Get these, um, you can get these at, in this flavor, which is just a, a plain grass-fed beef stick. Um, has 100 calories, zero sugar, nine grams of protein, um, tastes delicious, great to just keep in your purse. So if you are one of those people, mm, I gotta eat something now, I'm gonna go stop and get a, you know, a Dairy Queen or something, just put one of these in your purse, Doug, or Doug will go somewhere and Doug will go, you have, you have to be sick in your purse, I need something to eat. These are perfect. So um, they do have them in jalapeno. You can order them at Amazon to get a better variety, but you can get these at um, Trader Joe's, a decent price. Uh, I wanna say 129-ish. Um, and then there are other brands. I like uh, the Country Archer too. Um, Starbucks sells these. I saw these at Starbucks yesterday on the way out of Target. Um, Target uh, Walmart sells them. This is one of my favorite, favorite beef jerkies. Um, so it's got six grams of carbs and five grams of sugar. You almost can't avoid the sugar when it comes to a, um, when it comes to a beef jerky, but these are delicious. Yes, they're great for a kid snack. They're great to put in their lunches and they love them and they think they're doing something, you know, adult-like, you know what I mean? So I love this brand. Chef's Cuts is another brand I like. This one's a little hot. This one is six grams of carbs, um, six grams of sh sugar. Again, it's hard to get away from the sugar when you're talking to, about jerky, but these are great things to go to. I mean, just running in the gas station or running, but be careful because some of them have horrible, horrible crap in them, as well as tons of sugar and tons of carbs. So they're not all created equal, but these are my go-tos. They had these at Costco for a while. I bought every one that our Costco had. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, I did. Because I love them that much. And for a while, it was the only thing Paisley would eat before she passed away. So I bought everything they had. The other good one that I like in a, in a pinch is Jack's Link. And these come in a package. You can get these at Walmart. These are great for the kids' lunch boxes too because they're just two little sticks. They're tasty and they're cool. You know, and these are great to throw in their backpacks for if they're going to scouts or if they're going to baseball practice or football practice or whatever, if they need a snack. Always good and protein, you know what I mean? Okay, let's see what else I have over here. I missed the panko, the pork panko. Okay, so people ask me, 
what do you do about breading? Okay, I wanna make meatballs. I wanna make a, a meatloaf. We say use um, pork rinds. Some people that go, wah! And the first time I made pork rinds, I did it without doing it in the food processor. I highly suggest getting it very, very fine if you're gonna do that, which saves you some money. But be careful about what you're buying and what kind of uh, junk is in there. Um, because there can be tons of extra preservatives that you don't want, so be careful which brand you buy. Um, but these are already done. And this is, I got these in one of those keto boxes, and I haven't tried it yet, but it's another good one for something quick. Or, you know, in the motorhome or in the boat or whatever. Another snacky poo, Quest Barbecue Chips. So when Cammy wants chips, this is what I hand her. Uh, tuna carbs. And they taste good. Do I want to eat the whole bag? No. But Cammie will. And Cammie is very excited when she gets some. Seriously. So the barbecue, this is my, the barbecue is my favorite. They do have a, like a sour cream and onion. They have tortilla chips-ish. Um, I wish somebody would make a good like Cheeto. Ooh, yesterday I, we, were, we were at Costco and they had some kind of bean cheese puffs. And I read the car, it wasn't good for carbs or anything, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it. It was, I can't even remember what bean it was. Beans aren't keto, by the way. Um, but I tried it and I almost thought I was gonna barf right there in front of the poor person that was sampling them. It was nasty, probably more information that you needed to know, but they were awful. Okay, more snacks. Pecans. Pecans are one of the best keto nuts you can eat. So grab a handful, put them in a, put them in a Ziploc bag. I have those little uh, containers that I fill up for Cami. I'll do like a week's worth. She knows she can take one a day of whatever nuts in there and it's a serving and um, pecans are awesome for keto. Awesome. And being a Texan makes me even happier. Trader Joe's. These are, these are almonds in a bag, so these are great for Cammie to throw in her purse, her backpack, um, when we're heading out the door for a snack. Um, and it, you know, almonds are gonna keep you satiated. They aren't the lowest in carbs uh, amongst nuts uh, in carb, in low carb, but they're, they're, they're a great way to keep them fresh and throw them in your desk, your backpack, your purse, whatever. And that's another good snack to go, right? Moon teas, I don't know what God did to create these, but they're amazing, I love them. Costco yesterday, and um, I may have eaten a bunch of them on the way home. I was eating them on the way out when the girl was checking the receipt, and she's like, do you like those? And I'm like, oh, yes, please keep them. She goes, oh yeah, I think they're coming back. So, uh, they do come in different flavors. Cheddar's my favorite, they have like a mozzarella, they have a Parmesan, yummy. Same with whisk. I open the wisps and I will eat, and this is just cheese, y'all, just cheese, um, one gram of carbs. So if you are the kind of person that needs that something to snack on, a little salty, it's not too salty. Um, if you wanna dip them in some guacamole, if you wanna dip them in some salsa, you wanna dip them in some kind of yummy blue cheese dip, these are great and easy. You don't have to cook them. Um, and then they come in different flavors. These I got at Target. No, Walmart. In the, um, in the uh, deli department of all places. They were sitting in a very strange spot. But So this is Parmesan cheese and this is the Asiago. And by the way, ducks do like them. <laughs> when I run out of bread, because I'll buy a loaf of bread just for the ducks at the lake. And when I run out, then they may get some cheese. <laughs> they like it. Macadamia nuts, y'all. These are my favorite thing. Perfect keto nuts. Did, did you ever believe this? I, someone would be telling you to lose fat and to feel amazing that you're gonna buy macadamia nuts? I mean, seriously, did you avoid this aisle? Oh my goodness. I didn't say they weren't appropriate, Blaze. I said that they weren't your best choice. Macadamia nuts and and pecans or and Brazil nuts are your least amount of carbs and best amount of fats. 
we're talking keto, not just low carb here. And this is my show, so thank you. Uh, macadamia nuts, amazing. I asked them the other day why they didn't have any more. None. No macadamia nuts. Last time I went, I bought six bags just in case because I heard they were getting rid of them. They aren't getting rid of them. The problem is that where they buy them in Hawaii, they've had floods and they're trying to get ramped up again, which they can take months. So it really, I'm glad I stocked up, but I, I, I keep them close to me. And they're the best price. And they're the best as far as freshness, as far as I'm concerned, anyways. The best, low carb or not, keto or not, spaghetti sauce out there, okay? Low sugar, low carbs, um, and tasty. So you have four net carbs, okay? That's good for a spaghetti sauce. This is a marinara. If you choose some of the others, um, the marinara has the least amount of sugar and the least amount of carbs. But if you, um, I got this yesterday at Target. You can get them at Walmart. Hi, Hale. Um, um, the Costco did have it in the, this is like $6, y'all. But it is good. It's really good. And it eliminates so many steps. Um, but Costco was selling the big jar for $7. And I haven't seen it lately, so I'm really kind of sad about that. My favorite barbecue sauce ever, sugar-free. It does have modified cornstarch that I don't like. However, considering the choices and how much barbecue we eat, this is a really, really good option. Walmart has it, it's usually on the bottom shelf. If you're ever in a Walmart, look for it. That's the only reason I go to Walmart these days. Um, and it is like $3 a bottle. And then you can um, then you can also order it at Nutrition. This is where I bought it the other day. It was a couple. It was maybe twenty cents more than Walmart. Um, and um, but I got it there because they had different flavors, and I didn't want to go to Walmart. Oh, our Walmart's are scary here. I love the Walmart at the lake, but Walmart's. Let me show you something else I got. I know I wasn't gonna do refrigerator items, but this is a new favorite. Oh, that's not it. Hubby used it today and I don't know where he put it. Well, shoot. There it is. Nature's Hollow Sugar-Free Jam. When we started this, um, when we started this, uh, we wanted jam. You know what I mean? Um, we'll make that 90 second um, English muffin and we want a jam. Found this, I've heard this was good. Um, it's, I, it's so yummy y'all. And I bought an apricot, I haven't opened the apricot. So it is, it is two net carbs, okay? So it's got eight grams and then, and then it's got sugar alcohols. So sugar alcohols, not everybody thinks those are a great thing, but you know what? Every once in a while, I'm gonna need some sugar alcohols and you, and you net those out again. So there is uh, eight grams of carbs, six, net, six um, sugar alcohols, so there's a net too. I made some rolls last night. We, that was our breakfast this morning. You don't usually eat breakfast, but so good. And then there's apricot. So for those, there's, there's almost an alternative for everything. And your taste buds are gonna change so much. It's funny because when I have some of my customers and they'll, they'll start out with one flavor that in my opinion is the sweetest of them all. And then they get to where the other end of the spectrum to where they're drinking one of our tartier flavors like heart tart or, or raspberry lemonade. And you can tell how their taste buds have changed going sugar free. It's amazing. So the, the advantages of going sugar free if you don't know, Google it. I posted something the other day about sugar and inflammation. It'll, it makes so much sense when you look at it. Uh, coconut milk is another good one. If you are dairy free, you will use a lot of coconut milk. And coconut milk, coconut milk is kind of a weird thing. Uh, the recipes I've used them for, you take the, because there is the hard, like lard looking stuff of the, or like the coconut oil, you're gonna, you're gonna take it away from the liquid and you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for your blending. But uh, Trader Joe's, 
has organic coconut milk, best price. Olives are a staple in this house. Black olives, these all, uh, this is double stuffed jalapeno garlic. Um, they are great for our electrolytes as well, so olives are a good thing to um, add to your diet, good healthy fats. Almond milk is, um, be careful of the brands that you're using. A lot of recipes call for almond milk. Um, they're not all created equal. Make your own almond milk. Um, invest in a food processor. I think that's one of my, I'm a kitchen gadget person, but that is one of the things I use the most in keto is my food processor. Um, I can make my pancakes in it, my cream cheese pancakes. I can make, I grate my cheese because I, you want to buy whole cheese, okay? You don't want to buy that stuff that's got preservatives and, and crap in it. You want to grate your own cheese and it's not hard and I'll do a little extra like yesterday I made rolls with mozzarella cheese and you want whole mozzarella cheese, not skim, not non-fat, not low fat, whole mozzarella cheese and I can get that at our Costco. We have the biggest Costco in the world. It's amazing. Go figure why. And they, they service a lot of restaurants there and I guess it's like a, it was it's the first one so they're trying to see how that works as far as um, getting restaurants to buy more products there. So they service restaurants and, and they have like, you know, a block of it and I always have mozzarella cheese. Okay, so be careful of the almond milk you choose. Um, and uh, it's not all created equal and make and you want and sweetened you don't want sweetened that is it for what I have here I know right anybody have any questions let's see Kelsey can you post a list of all these products you know what I could is take a whole lot of time I suggest you just maybe watch this again take some notes and um, I do in my VIP group for my customers, I do have Trader Joe list and a Costco list um, and they grow every, every week. I mean, seriously, Costco has gotten so good about keto and Trader Joe's and Sprouts and they just keep adding more and more. Okay, so before you leave, please share. I'm doing a drawing again, keto cup. A pack of my keto cream, my fat burning coffee, and my max ketones. For those of you that share, I'm gonna do a drawing. I'll do that in a couple hours. Or soon I will do it. I will uh, make a draw, do a drawing, share. Please comment that you shared. That way I know because sometimes if you guys share it and you don't have your settings at public, I can't see that you shared it. So um, please do that. Also, I am getting ready to open my 10 day let's get grains and sugar and processed foods out of our life. Um, I'm getting ready for that group and I'm only going to open it up to 20 people. So because we're going to work hand in hand for 10 days, we're going to be accountable to one another. We're going to do intermittent fasting. We're going to incorporate pure therapeutic ketones. So ketones are required for this group. Um, if you want to be added, I will add, at the end of this, I will add that group. Please make sure you answer all the questions, okay? If you don't answer all the questions, you won't be admitted into the group. You'll be declined, and so make sure you answer all those questions. I'm only going to open it up to 20 people, okay? Because I will be working with you hand in hand. I will be your keto coach, and we'll be, like I said, we'll be drinking ketones. So because of that, I am going to do a special 10 day max experience pack. You're going to get 10 days of max ketones, five flavors. You're going to get your 10 days of electrolytes and I'm going to do $10 off for anybody that's going to do this group with me. And then, um, I also will have some keto cream for you on those intermittent fasting days. Okay. So if you want to 20, I'm only opening it to 20 people. That's it. We're going to start. Um, I'm going to post the list of your goodies that you're going to want to shop for. Um, on Friday, we're going to start on Monday and you have to go in and request it. So, um, I will be posting the, um, the link down here when I'm done and it's only 20 people. Okay. And the, and then those ketones, 10 days of max ketones, $10 off for anybody that is going to join us. So that way you're going to get a start. You're going to get to try my ketones. You're going to see what I'm talking about. 
you get, you can get your feet wet in the in the tiptoe in the keto pool with me. Okay, one on one. So thank you all. If you don't have any more questions, thank you for joining me. I so appreciate it. Um, I am working on a new recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Hopefully tomorrow. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Hope you're having a great night. Take care.